All right, now we're doing 8Q opposite number. This one's by Sergio E.T. And 83% of the people like it. Very simple. Given an integer or a floating point number, find its opposite. Find the opposite. All right. It really is really simple. But I said I'm going to start doing this the arrow function style. So... Uh, and then opposite equals number, and then we say number, and then we put in front of that minus sign. All right, there we go. There we go, one liner right there, a true one liner. All right, and let's go to my solution. 54 of us, and the rest like chessmonger. Best practice here. Very like it, and we'll see you next time.